Okay, you've seen this before, but now what we're looking at really is this area here. So there's a few things I need to get rid of. Well, I don't need any of the components to get rid of those. They're the packages. I can get rid of that. Don't need that solder mask. I need that copper, but I don't need that copper. And, well, I need the board. So I go to the board, and they're the copper holes. So I'm going to delete the I'm going to hide the copper holes. Don't have those. I'm going to go to the copper here. I'm going to go to the bodies. I'm going to keep those, but I'm going to hide those, okay? So, uh, save that. Click this, uh, 3D PCB. And this time, instead of coming out and then going back into design, you're actually going to go straight into manufacture. We'll do a new setup. And the first thing we've got to do is tell the machine, well, this is the material that we're going to do. So we're not going to worry with the machine yet. We're going to go to the operation type, make sure that's milling, because we're milling it out. The orientation. So we will go to the Z plane. And we're just going to click the blue part there. So make sure that Z is uh, in line with that blue line there. And we're going to flip that so it's now the right around so you can see that's there. The machine that we're using starts in the bottom left. So we're going to origin, stop point, box, click there. And then we're going to move that X so it's coming along that line there. So we'll flip that X. Now the model we need is actually that and that. Don't press OK because that will move you on to the next stage. I'm going to go to the stop point. Um, this is a relative size. We can move this all the way down. So I um, take away the no additional. Now if we have a look, now we can see the stop point there is the top. And now I can press OK. Uh, for the copper, we will do 3D project. And we'll click project. OK, so the tool we're going to choose, we'll uh, start a new one up. I'm going to press uh, plus. We will go to tapered mill, and I'm just going to be calling it isolation. The cutter only has one flute. The diameter here is actually 0 0.01. The shaft itself is six mil. The length below is this part, so just call that 40. Now the corner radius is 0 0.01. And the taper angle, we'll say, is 15 degrees. Okay, so there's our little point. The spindle speed for us is 6,500. And the cutting feed rate is 150. And then we'll just say 150 there. And 150 there. And the coolant is disabled and we will accept that so we select this one select the we've got all our preset speeds so that's all done and that's all finished well the next part is the geometry uh, one the selection is going to be that is the boundary so you don't go outside that boundary the curve we're going to do is this one that one and now it's a bit annoying we've just got to select all these and we do that now just make sure that you selected everything it's not a huge problem if you haven't you can always go back and what we're saying is we want this tool to cut around all these parts okay and of course you can if you want cut that out as well now the heights bring that down a little bit and so that's all right now we don't actually want to cut all the way down so um, what we can actually do is do it manually in passes is you need to do an axial uh, offset of minus 0.2 and that's a fifth of a millimeter uh, lower so we can just press OK that's going to set up a toolpath and once that toolpath's done we can go simulate with the machine well the next one now is the drilling so we are going to go to drill we're going to select our tool for the drilling we'll go plus and for this one 
we will just do a drill. Um, call it the drill. The size uh, we can leave. The diameter is much, much smaller than that. It's actually about 0.5 of a millimeter. We can leave all of that, doesn't really matter. We'll go to the cutting data again, change that to 6500. The plunge, again, 150 and retract. 150 is fine. And then of course, no flood um, disabled. And then we will save that. And that's the one we're going to select. I'm gonna go here. Now we're gonna select the whole. So we're gonna select one, two, and just make sure that you've selected all these holes. Now the height, well, for this, we actually want to drill all the way through. I'm gonna drop that down a bit and drop that down a bit, not too much. And we actually want the, the drill tip to go through the bottom. And again, we will look and simulate that one. 